Hi guys, it's Kat. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a miniature working light bulb and a fun bracket style light fixture. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I've been working on a dollhouse and it's so much fun getting back into minis. Today's project is quite a bit smaller but still so much fun. Let's get started. The first step is to design the shape you want for your bulb. You can use clay like I'm doing here. This is just simple oven baked clay. To create a simple light bulb shape, just roll your clay into a ball, then pull one end out and thin it. You can also model this in a 3D design app and print it. This is the method I chose to get it scaled accurately and still include plenty of detail. I just combined a few shapes in Tinkercad to get the design. Once you have the basic shape you like, it's time to make a mold of it. To do that, I'm using this two-part silicone mold kit. Just take equal parts of purple and white and knead them together. Form it into a ball and wrap it around your light bulb. Encase it completely in the silicone, leaving a tiny hole at the base for the bulb. I wait about 15 minutes for it to fully cure and then I cut through the middle. Just take a knife and slice it all the way around. Pull the halves apart and remove the model. Okay, now it's time to make the actual light bulb. I'll be using nail resin and this nail lamp. You can of course use craft resin, but I'm just using what I already have. Add resin to both halves of the mold. Cure it under the delight for a few seconds. Add some more resin to one half and drop in a tiny LED bulb to cure again. I snipped this LED from a string of fairy lights, but you can also buy micro dollhouse lights like this one. These dedicated dollhouse lights are a bit more effective and less likely to burn out. When you're working with so many little parts, it's easy to lose important pieces. I like to keep things organized with this organizer from Arteza. It's so clear so I can see everything inside and the drawers are so spacious. Add some more resin on top of the LED and cure it again. Combine both halves and add a drop of resin to the base where there is a tiny opening. This will hold both halves together when you pull the silicone off. Cure this drop of resin. Then pull the silicone off and you have your bulb. I recommend brushing on another layer of resin to add shine, smoothness, and strength. You can make clear bulbs in any shape and size you like. You can install this adorable bulb in most fixtures, but I'll show you how to make a simple one that really shows off the bulb. You just need some quarter inch coffee stirrers. Because these are pretty thin, I double them up using some wood glue. Once that's dry, cut off three lengths. Two lengths that are one and a half inches long and one length that's one and a quarter inch long. Take the one and a quarter inch piece and glue it perpendicular to one of the one and a half inch ones. Then take the second one and a half inch piece and sand both ends at a 45 degree angle. Glue that at an angle against your bracket. I'll be painting this black but you can keep it natural wood. I drill a hole at the front edge for the wires of the light bulb. You can leave the light bulb as is, but I had a few metal beads that I added to the top just for some extra detail. I paint it all black with nail polish. Pull the wires through the hole we drill and wrap it around the bracket.
to power the light, you can use a simple coin battery holder. These are widely available and super easy to use. It has two wires that you can just attach to the two wires coming from our bulb. I'll use a different method to power it inside my dollhouse because I want to hide the wires. But I just wanted to quickly show you how easy this can be. I hope you guys like this video. I'm so excited to show you the progress on the dollhouse. I'm nearly done with the structure and will share the process as soon as I'm done. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!